Hi guys, welcome back to my 110 scale forklift uh, upgrade here. Um, I've done a few more bits and I just thought I'd stop here uh, for the fact that I'm doing some painting. And um, I'm not really a very good painter, that's for sure. But I remember a few skills from the Warhammer uh, classes that I used to go on that I used to keep an eye on. I didn't attend them, but I used to have a look and chat to everyone down there. And I remember I was trying to, I was working out multi-toning and stuff of painting. And basically this, uh, the yellow, the uh, yellowy orange here of the forklift, um, it started out a very light kind of golden. And what I've done is I've just gone over it uh, with a golden ink type thing. And you can kind of see a difference here, a darker and here a lighter. And the idea is when, you know, any heat's coming out the bottom here, it would have slightly, you know, helped the sun kind of lighten it. And the idea was not only does it kind of make it look a bit weathered, which I actually do like the look of. Could do some um, rust down there if it's not, the real thing's not made out of plastic. But uh, the only reason why I like um, the multi-tone here so much is because... When I want to make extra parts for it, if I want to put some lights on the front there, or a little side light here so I can shine down on anything that's next to the forklift, well, if I paint them one colour, say like these here, these are little headlights I'm working on for the LEDs, uh, there's one drying with a bolt in it, the bolt's keeping the shape in the headlight where this one's dried and I've just um, took it out. Now, it started out as... Uh, a little orange pack to keep um, uh, Allen keys in order and I've just cut it up, little rubber things off and then painted it and usually uh, I've painted this golden yellow and if I'd have tried to put this on the truck the tone of yellow would have been off slightly but now I've put ink on this truck, yellow ink on the truck and I've painted these golden and when I put ink on these the colours should match more to this Otherwise, the the plastic, the base plastic colour of this truck originally would be a bit different tone to this, and they wouldn't really blend. So I, I just stopped to show you. So, um, it's just a basic Citadel ink I'm using at the moment. Um, this stuff it's not very good in its in its torn package in there. You can see how watery it is, and that's the ink, and I'm putting that ink over. Um, this basic golden yellow paint, though I'm almost out of this gear now, and um, I've, I'm sorting those, I'm just letting these dry, this is going to be my little spot lamp thing, uh, the spot lamp, I've got a positive and negative there, coming out of the spot lamp for the LEDs, so the LED you can see down there, positive and negative They're, they've got gaps between them and aren't touching so they won't bridge each other which is really good and you can just see here I'm holding on to a, a, one of the tailors pins I was using for my pallets that I've just threaded through the top of this plastic cap for a pen lid so I'm hoping that I can get that kind of somewhere around there once I've done and that it'll focus the lighting more of into a spotlight down here around the forklift than dispersing everywhere else. Um, I've dealt with that and also on the bottom here where there'd be lights I've drilled a hole straight through the plastic. Uh, there was another black plastic case behind this yellow plastic so I drilled straight through that too. And I've just tried an LED and the LED fits nicely in there and just comes out perfectly same on the other side um so i'll wire those up with lights and i'll run the lights hopefully with a bit of discretion up in the arches straight up behind here up along here into the cells on the top i'm using a little zippo case as like a carry pouch be kind of placed something like there um on this real little carry case i've made uh the case out of a pc um drive cover that would be on a pc tower um that if you didn't have a drive in the tower you put a little metal grill cover over it which is the grill cover chop the end off here had added some um some uh metal chaining the metal chaining is 116 scale 
but still works at 110 scale. It just looks thinner chain um, at 116 is all. Uh, it looks just thicker here, but it still works. Uh, that's a battery cell to just so it looks a bit like a fuel cell, like a gas cylinder or something, and you're driving it about the place. Uh, some wood for the pallets, which are actually perfect 10 centimeter, 100 millimeter long uh, planks there, which are, go on the uh, pallets. So that's looked pretty cool. And I just put one of the pallet uh, blocks there to in there to keep the um, thing in place you know the power bank uh, this power bank behind the driver's seat for the third cell has gone on nice uh, you can see the USB out there and with this I'm afraid I didn't get the um looks quite handy that uh, with that I'm afraid I didn't get the hinges sorted but no mind and you can see how in there I can charge um, the third port there underneath so charge that one charge that one charge that one the free cells are charging uh, to run the um, lithium ions and this one at the top I can just lift the lid off and get access and I'll charge that in there so you can't see the ports outside and these wires now are just needing chopping back putting switches on so I can click off the circuit when I'm charging them and then when I took the charge leads out click the circuit back on to put it in series so it runs the forklift. I um, hope I've not got uh, doddled too much with this. Um, I'll finish up here, show you the end result, show you the additional lifting rate, and then work from there. I think I think this is pretty much done for now. When the fan comes, I'll probably try to get that in and do a quick update. Um, and I'm not sure if to glue the forks at the front on there because they I could do with them. Uh, being a interchangeable, you know, to change the size for the pallets. However, they're a bit what um, they wobble in the air, you know, they waggle wobble. So when there's weight on them, so it'd be nice to fix those. Um, but yeah, I hope it's looking cool. Thanks for watching. Um, please leave your comments. Any ideas, suggestions would be welcome. Um, quick uh, look down there. The the desk thing, you know, the storage box would be cool if I could empty out and build like some kind of 110 scale platform for a pallet setup so I could get some camera work. But I'm not sure if it's big enough yet. But it would be cool for 114, but not sure about 110. And if you see the poor truck down here, um, I had a third cell in the cabin go a bit weird on there, um, like reverse polarization or something or other. Um, just a dead cell that kind of shorted everything I put the cell in, so it was definitely the cell. Originally I thought it was some of my electronics, so I stripped them out anyway, uh, but it did give me a chance to improve the uh, soldering joints and to um, upgrade the USB PCB boards as there's some more modern uh, stable ones out, and they look cooler because they flash when charging. Um, so this I'm going to solder up in the next day to put back together. Uh, it should be more reliable and I don't mind the setback of it. Um, I was trying to get it going the other day, prep it for taking it out, but then the cell died on me and none of the servos have worked, so I was buggered. Um, thanks for watching, get these updates on as soon as possible. You know what I'm like, I'm pretty slow on my uploads, but I do have a lot on stuff, so no worries. Uh, thanks for watching, catch it up, see you later. See you.